Alright guys, welcome back to another video dropped by your boy, Snoogle. Uh, make sure to like, uh, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and comment. I want to know what you guys think about this video. So let's get right back into it. So today I'll be talking about the endangered species called a coelacanth, which is a pretty weird pronunciation for how it's spelled. The scientific name is, uh, not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's, uh, I think, coelacanthiformis. Wow, now how endangered is this animal? Well, there's only 500 or fewer individuals like on the earth. 500 or less, that's less than people that watch my YouTube videos. Now these coelacanths, uh, they actually, people actually thought they were extinct until they found them in the 19 somethings, uh, like off the coast. So yeah, they actually used to, they, they actually used to be extinct, which you no know, doesn't doesn't really happen that much. Anyway, coelacanths, they usually live in caves or marine reefs. Uh, they're usually around islands. Uh, one popular example is you can find coelacanths around the Comoros Islands, uh, you can see. You know how they used to be extinct, right? But then they rediscovered them? Well, they actually rediscovered them on the Comoros Islands. So, yeah, that's, so I would say that's their origin too, in the Comoros Islands, because that's where they were rediscovered. It's between Africa and Madagascar. Now, this, this fish is actually different, because not only is it pretty big, it, it's also like kind of blue with like white spots. It can be gray with white spots too. And it looks different from modern fish, because remember, it's been on the earth for a long time, that people thought it was extinct. So this fish actually has lobe fins, which are different from usual fins. If you take a look at its uh, fin, you'll see the difference. And it looks like a living fossil. You can see its head is more like, more hard than the, more hard and like bony than the other fish. Its, its tail at the end does not look an look like a normal fish tail if you look at that. Now for some information about the coelacanth, they're actually pretty slow eaters. They just drift around and eat. They don't really move that fast. And unlike the normal fish, these these fish can actually look pretty long. Maybe even like the same long as humans do. They also have a, like a unique joint at the back of the skull uh, that allows them to open their up and their lower jaw at the same time. And actually some of them can be light brown if you put it under like their natural habitat. Uh, but usually, the, if you take a picture of it, it'll be dark blue. They, they also like to live near volcanic areas, like where underwater volcanoes are. And they also reproduce through internal fertilization. They usually eat uh, cuttlefish, squid, and octopus, and other smaller fish. They're pretty, they're actually pretty hollow. They have a fluid-filled backbone, uh, calcified scales. They have, like, animal teeth. And they have an electrosensory organ in their snouts to help them like since a bit of electricity in the water and uh, people actually say they might have had something to do with the evolution of like land land animals like even us humans uh, because they have those lobe fins that allowed them to like, control their fins like arms so people actually think they have something to do with the evolution of us their scales are also really rough now why is it endangered well, the, the only reason for that is because remember a lot of animals and like fish and stuff and a long time ago they got endangered uh, I mean, they got extinct. These guys only lived because they were near volcanic regions. So that's why there isn't a lot of them. And there also isn't a lot of places they can actually live. Because it's not like every single place in the ocean has like volcanic, uh, volcanic islands and caves. So there's not, really, there's not many much places for them to like live in. Not only that, they're also endangered because a lot of new modern fish have been popping up. Kind of ruins how they like eat and how they interact with the environment because you know they are pretty old species. How are we actually protecting the coelacanth to make sure they don't just go extinct? Well first of all it's against the law to actually eat them because they're, just, they're super rare. Uh, the CITS is like changing how people how people fish so they don't accidentally fish up a coelacanth and kill it. They're also changing something like uh, submarines and like ships Make sure you don't endanger the habitat of the coelacanths because there aren't many habitats to begin with. So yeah, that's all for today. Um, make, sure, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, comment, and hit the notifications bell. So yeah.